explode at any time. He had three games last year where he had 20 or more. On the inside for the Baylor Bears, you've got to start with Kevin Rogers. He has been a three-year starter, averaged 12 points and eight rebounds per game last year. If this youngster gets his intensity level on a consistent basis, he could be one of the best inside players in the Big 12 Conference. But what has the Baylor coaching staff smiling the most is two freshmen. Quincy Acey, I understand, has been terrific in preseason workouts. He was recruited by the likes of Arizona, Florida, schools all over the country. He made a late decision to join the Baylor program this summer. He's very active, very strong, very aggressive. Also inside, Baylor recruited Anthony Jones, a 6'10 standout from Houston Yates. They look for him to help in scoring. If the Baylor Bears are going to indeed jump up in the national polls and finish in the top three in the Big 12, they're going to have to become a much, much better defensive team. That's the question mark. Will Baylor become tough defensively, consistently, game in and game out? Thank you very much, Coach Haller. That will wrap up our look at this year's Baylor men's basketball team. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and so long from Waco. The weekly rewind of the Big 12's biggest play. Inside the 10, touchdown. Fox Sports Southwest makes sure every highlight in the Big 12 gets queued back up and played on the Big 12 Instant Replay every Monday night on Fox Sports Southwest. On the banks of the Brazos sits Baylor University. Enter Bear Country, and you'll find a winning tradition dating back to 1899. Rally you to Kevin Rogers. That's just sick, isn't it? That is it. Five overtimes. The tradition continues next. This week on Inside Baylor Sports, the Bears blast their Brazos River rivals. Down the left sideline for Kendall Wright. He's got it. Touchdown, Bears! Plus, hoop season gets underway with a big upset. Rachel, Rachel, left-handed shot. Good cross the foul! Inside Baylor Sports is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Drink slow, play hard. Doctor's orders, Dr. Pepper. By Time Warner Cable, the power of you. By Hillcrest Health System, the official health care provider of Baylor Athletics. By Farm Bureau Insurance Companies, proudly supporting the Baylor Bears. By Dodge, grab life. And by the Baylor Alumni Association, keeping Baylor strong since 1859. Scientific tests show that when one drinks Dr. Pepper slowly, one can truly relish the 23 flavors. Would that we could savor all our relationships, much as the conductor savors his corral nocturna. Slowly. Comments, caller? Only one, Fraser. You never savored me slowly. Well, Lilith, I guess I finally found the right icy doctor. Fraser, I don't... Slower is better. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Some places guys shouldn't go. Then there's sport clips. Made just for guys with sports on TV and stuff guys like. And none of the stuff guys don't. At sport clips, guys win. What do you call a checking account that pays an extremely attractive rate of 3.11% APY? We call it smart. Introducing Smart Yield Checking from Amogee Bank. Sign up today. Introducing a breakthrough in designer clothes. Pre shrunk prices. Come into KNG now, buy one designer item, and get 50% off a second one. KNG Fashion Superstore. A men's college hoops preview tonight on Fox Sports Southwest. 
There are some places guys shouldn't go. And then there's Sport Clips, a place just for guys where you can get a great haircut and catch the game. At Sport Clips, it's all about you. At Sport Clips, guys win. electric field. There is a little added, you know, out there on the field. They've been telling me all year, like, as long as you guys beat A&M. Old timers like my dad talk about it and uh, how much he, he loves beating A&M and how much he hates A&M. We haven't beat them since my, my true freshman year, 2004, and to go out in my last home game and victorious over, over the Aggies, man, that would mean everything to me. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Baylor Sports. I'm John Morris. And I'm Lori Fogelman. It's the 105th Battle of the Brasses between Baylor and Texas A&M. We have a jam-packed show for you here on Inside Baylor Sports, so let's get right to the highlights. Let's get the first half highlights from right here at Floyd Casey Stadium, Bears and Aggies. This is one of the most memorable atmospheres I, I remember from Baylor. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Emotions run high on a senior day that will be remembered for years to come. Coming from the hotel, just pulling into the stadium, knowing this is the last time we'll be pulling in, it's just like. Just gotta make, I guess make the best of it. Baylor wastes little time establishing the ground game, relying on the run on Bears' first possession. Keeps his balance to the 35, out across the 40-yard line. What a run by Jay Finley. The Bears marked 61 yards on 11 plays, eating up nearly five and a half minutes on an early field goal drive. And up to Kobe Jones, he's got a hole, it's to the 25, he stretches to the 22-yard line. A 42-yard attempt by Parks with the wind at his back, kick is away, and it is good. Well, we wanted to rush the ball, you know, we felt like uh, we needed to. Uh, we got down there and, you know, didn't convert, got a field goal. Uh, Parks did a great job, you know, making field goals today when we needed them. And, uh, you know, then we were able to do some things off that later on. But, yeah, I think it kind of helps us throwing the ball later on. <laughs> Baylor's defense is rock solid in the first quarter, allowing just two first downs. Boy, and he is smothered for a loss. Leon Freeman is one of a number of Bears who has a career night in his final home game. Now he's sacked, back at the 15-yard line. Were you, were you a little extra juiced up for your lefty last home game? I, yeah, I, yeah, I was. I got to admit it, I will. Johnson with two backs in the backfield with him. Back pedals into the end zone. Now we'll run it out of there. He's to the 10. Gets past one man. Balls on the ground. Baylor's recovered. Fumble recovery by Baylor at the 21-yard line. Leon Freeman, one of the seniors on senior day, makes the fumble recovery for the Bears. Baylor's offense takes over at the 21-yard line and gets to the eight, but can't punch it in, setting up another Ben Parks field goal. Good snap, good hold, the kick is good by Ben Parks. Baylor leads 6-0 early in the second quarter when senior Dwayne Crawford picks off a pass. Ball is underthrown and intercepted. Dwayne Crawford, the senior with the pick for the Bears inside the 30-yard line. Once you start getting turnovers, it's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's big for the defense. You know, everybody wants to get turnovers. So, you know, everybody's trying to get their hands on the ball, and I think it just started something. Go Bears! Go Baylor! Go Baylor! Uncle Mo swings heavily to Baylor as the Bears convert on third and 14. Rainbow left side for Ernest Smith. He has got it! Ernest Smith has the catch, yes! He and the defensive back battling each other for the ball. Devin Gregg was right there, but a great job by Ernest Smith to battle and take that reception for 49 yards to the 29-yard line. Ernest Smith's amazing grab sets up a Jacoby Jones touchdown run. Option right side, Griffin pitches right. Jacoby Jones to the end zone. Touchdown, Jacoby Jones. Fantastic call by Coach Browse, but I'm going to tell you, a better play by a playmaker. I'm more of an inside runner, but I can get outside if I need to. And I think when I came in, they kind of expected me to go inside. And Coach just caught the option. And Robert made a great read and, and, and pitched it. I just caught it and had nobody in front of me. Baylor leads 13 zip, but the Aggies cut the margin to 13 7 on the ensuing possession on a one yard touchdown run. 
The Bears get the ball back with four minutes left in the half and answer the Aggie score. Griffin fakes the handoff, wants to throw, looks left. Now he's pressured, now he rolls to the left side. And he's going to have to run with it to the 45, steps out of bounds near midfield. First and 10 for the Bears from the 49. Hand off to Finley again. Bears out to the right side, now goes further right. He's to the 45, and he's got a 10-yard gain all the way to the 41-yard line of the Aggies. Bears driving, trying to get it into the end zone or at least get points before halftime. Snap back to Griffin, fakes the handoff, has time in the pocket. Down the left sideline for Kendall Wright. He's got it. Touchdown, Bears! Robert Griffin to Kendall Wright for 31 yards and the Baylor score. Well, if you didn't know if that young man was an athlete before that play, that one proved it. I think it was huge. I think it was probably, uh, you know, the difference in, in the momentum of the ball game because I think we took it 80 yards into the win, scored with like a minute 30 left in the half and, uh, you know, gave us a two touchdown lead over. Jordan Lake comes up with an interception to close out the first half with Baylor leading 20 to 7. It is tipped and intercepted. Jordan Lake got the interception. How about that? The near capacity crowd of 43,000 comes to its feet as the Bears head to the locker room up by 13. Coach, you've had three takeaways in the first half and a huge touchdown drive to cover up AM score. Yeah, I mean, that's the difference is our defense is really playing good, getting the ball to us, and we're making some plays on offense. We just got to keep fighting, keep converting, keep believing. We'll have second half highlights in just a bit between the Bears and the Aggies, but Lori, let's go indoors for a little round ball. Yeah, basketball season now it is officially here, and the Baylor men kick things off Saturday in the Farrell Center against Paul Quinn College. Scott Drew's crew opens the season by doubling up the Tigers of Paul Quinn College. Freshman Quincy AC dazzles in his debut, scoring 13 and hauling in 11 rebounds. Five Bears finish in double figures, including Henry Dugat with 22 and Kevin Rogers with 16. Alley up to Kevin Rogers, who finishes with the dunk. The Bears easily cruise to a 108 50 victory over the NAIA foe to start the season in style. As for the 19th ranked Lady Bears, they tip off the new campaign Friday night by thumping Florida Atlantic 90 to 45. Rachel Allison records her 11th career double double and transfer Morgan Medlock adds a double double as well. On Sunday, Baylor retires the number 33 jersey of two-time All-American Sophia Young at halftime of the Lady Bears showdown with number two Stanford. The current Lady Bears are inspired by the presence of their legendary predecessor and stunned Stanford 81-65. Five Baylor players finish in double figures, led by a 25-point performance from Allison. Boom! This one's done. 81-65. The Lady Bears have defeated the Stanford Cardinal here in the Farrell Center this afternoon. Stay with us when we come back on Inside Baylor Sports, the second half highlights, Baylor and Texas A&M. Rolls to the right side, throws on the run to Thomas Wright. He's got it at the 10. He keeps his feet. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Thomas Wright. Scrap for cash will come to CND Scrap Metal, and you can make a lot of cash for your scrap. Guaranteed, CND will pay you top dollar for all your scrap metal. CND has new hours on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. What do you call a checking account that pays an extremely attractive rate of 3.11% APY? We call it SMART. Introducing Smart Yield Checking from Amogee Bank. Sign up today. The Toyota Tundra. Tough, powerful, legendary quality. Toyota's back for NASCAR 2008. Log on to MySouthwestRacing.com for everything NASCAR and for your chance to win a new 2008 Toyota Tundra. Toyota Tundra, the truck that's changing it all. You're watching Fox Sports Southwest, where Southwest fans come first. I said, you're blue. Let's, he's waiting on you. Taylor Bill. Why you got a haul? Yeah, $2 bill. Is that cool? Yeah. Houston, we're going to pay you in $2 bills. I have deodorant and perfume if you need some. The new Big Night Out is a big night in with a big night in deal from Pizza Hut. Three pounds of Tuscany pasta, a medium one topping pizza, and warm breadsticks for about 20 bucks. Order in pasta and pizza from Pizza Hut. 
The greatest car alarm on earth is on sale at Mother's Window Tint. Prices are dropping. Start your car or unlock your car doors by cell phone. Yes, by cell phone. Save as much as $500 at Mother's Window Tint. You pay just $2.99. Also on sale, Mother's Window Tint for cars and pickup trucks, just $99. Remember, do it at Mother's and save. Anybody can sell food for five bucks. But only Pizza Hut has what it takes to make five bucks taste this amazing. A medium one-topping Pizza Mia pizza is just five bucks when you order three or more. Five bucks never tasted so good. Only from Pizza Hut. College Hoops Preview, tonight on Fox Sports Southwest. When we need to know something fast. Inside Baylor Sports turns to Time Warner Cable and high-speed Roadrunner Internet service. Thanks, Time Warner. If you like the Baylor gear John and Lori wear on the show, check it out at the Baylor Bookstore, your official bookstore in the Baylor parking facility, and online at efollett.com. Welcome back on Inside Baylor Sports. Let's go back onto the football field. Second half highlights now between Baylor and A&M. <laughs> Baylor starts the second half with a bang. This is third and nine. Griffith flushed out of the pocket, rolls to the right side, throws on the run to Thomas Wright. He's got it at the 10. He keeps his feet. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Thomas Wright. Well, I'm going to tell you, that is a fantastic pass by Robert Griffith. I just happened to see the middle wide open. Uh, the play was actually designed to go to the right. It just happened that I was able to break free, and Robert rolled out. We were able to make eye contact. He put it right where I hit it and he got six. Thomas White made a great play. Uh, Robert scrambled and made a great throw. And it's just a you know a thing that even helped us separate a little more. And then you know we just took it on from there. Go, Meanwhile, the defense continues its stellar play. Johnson pressure and sack back inside the 25-yard line. We emphasize all feet that is going to start off up front with the offensive line and defensive line. And we came out and we knew we had to stop the run. To, to win the game. So we did that. They had a couple bursts in like the first half. But after that, you know, we pretty much shut them down. And then we knew they was going to have to pass because the offense kept doing their job and running the points up. So they had to get downfield fast. And, you know, we, we did our job, sent a couple blitzes here and there, and, and got in his face and, and messed some things up. Already up by 20, the Bears embark on a nine play, 99 yard drive. Griffin still on his feet, 25 30. It's a block at the 40 and bumped out of bounds at the 45 yard line. What a run by quarterback Robert Griffin. Bears 27, Aggie 7 from Floyd Casey Stadium in Waco. Three receivers to the left side. Griffin fakes the handoff, keeps it to the left side. Late flip to Kendall Wright. Wright has the catch running laterally to the center of the field at the 20 to the 15 yard line. What an ad lib play. Robert Griffin to Kendall Wright for 17 yards. Ninth play of the drive coming up. 3.45 on the clock in the third quarter. Griffin. Hands the ball to Finley, off right tackle to the five, to the end zone, touchdown, Jay Finley. Well, I'm going to tell you, that's blocking there. That's fantastic play by the offensive line, especially the right side. J.D. Walton, James Bernard, Dan Gay, and I think John David Weed was actually in on tight end on that side. We'll see. But they just shut down the defensive line of AM. The Baylor route is on as Jason Lamb tips a pass and Joe Pavella calls it in for an interception, setting up the offense for Jacoby Jones' second TD run, his first two touchdown game of his career. Griffin pitches late. Jacoby Jones to the five. He is in. Touchdown, Jacoby Jones. Touchdown, Bears on fourth down. The senior from Bangs runs it in, and the Bears get to 40 points on the Aggies today. It was the first time I ever had two touchdowns in one game. It was just, uh, it was just very exciting. Like I said, just to come out here last last home game in front of you know saying Baylor fans and get two touchdowns in one game. Let's go Baylor! Come on Bears! Let's go BU! Up 41 to seven. Pavelic gets another pick. Back pedals, pass intercepted. Joe Pavelic has another one. His second of the game, his sixth of the season, and another one in the end zone. I think he's leading the nation in interceptions for his position. So, no, he's, he's just uncanny. He's amazing, and uh, 
you know, I'm just glad that he's uh, where's the green and go. Joe, he did just an incredible job with those two picks, you know, and and, and it started really up front. I, I'll take credit for that as, as part of the D line. You know, we got in his face a little bit, made sure he couldn't really see. Got his, got our hands up some, tipped some balls, and there you go, some picks. Football's worn with foot, field position, momentum, and turnovers, and we had a lot of turnovers and a lot of momentum tonight. And that's what we need, you know, take the ball from them and send them back home to Aggieland, you know, mad and sad. That's what we, that's what we want. We're going home happy and they go home sad. Final score, Bears 41, Aggies 21. A thorough victory by Baylor over the Aggies this afternoon. This is an incredible feeling, you know, a senior game, and we come out and pretty much dominate the whole game against the Aggies, and especially against the Aggies. We said during practice that if we beat a and them, that the students would go crazy, and uh, they did. Uh, the fans were great today, probably the biggest crowd we've had all year, I would guess, uh, just to be able to share that win with them, you know, give them something to be proud of. Our seniors did a great job of leading this entire year, not just this week, and, you know, I'm really just proud of them, proud of them for the way that they've uh, you know, handled every situation we've been through. We've been through some adverse times this year. They've always remained positive, hopeful, and a, and a great amount of belief. So their leadership is, has been critical to us as a football program. And uh, I'm just really happy for them today, happy that they can be happy. And, you know, they did an outstanding job today. Uh, it was a total team win, no doubt. You can't script it any better than that. Uh, for all our seniors to, you know, fight these four years, and to go out like this against, you know, your rival, I mean, that, that's Hollywood. So it's an open date this Saturday for Coach Bryles and the Bears. Then the regular season finale, November 29th in Lubbock against Texas Tech. Well, as football starts to wind down, so do a number of Baylor fall sports. And that includes Baylor Cross Country hosting this weekend the NCAA Regionals. It's a windy morning at Cottonwood Creek Golf Course, but that doesn't slow down the Lady Bears, who finished tied with Rice for second place. Aaron Bedell leads Baylor, crossing the tape in second place. The Lady Bears don't earn an automatic berth into the NCAA championships, but expect to garner an at-large bid. They did a good job in the conditions today. I thought we ran really well. Uh, Aaron ran a super race. Baylor's men aren't quite as fortunate, finishing 10th, bringing an end to their season. Also on Saturday morning, the ceremonial groundbreaking for the new Jay and Jenny Allison indoor practice facility was held along the banks of the Brazos. Work on the new indoor facility will begin immediately and it's scheduled to be completed in seven to eight months. Coming up next on Inside Baylor Sports, we conclude our countdown of the top 10 Baylor games from the past decade. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Trust me, I'm a doctor. That's what you did in Dr. J right here. That's awesome. Very attractive. I love it. <laughs> Lots of room back there in the back. Yeah, it's got all kinds of room in it, man. We drove it down a huge mountain. It's still as smooth as can be. Loads of power. Hemi, top of the line. Can't hey. even feel the trailer back there. Go, 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 go. Never has there been a time when your courage was more needed. Never have American businesses been so challenged to take the highest road to seek the greatest good for products, people, and their companies. Do you aspire to lead? Get the masters that majors in integrity. Baylor Business, building leaders, not simply careers. Register today for an open house. I can't believe I'm beating Billie Jean King. You're not beating me. In fact, you haven't even got a serve in. Okay. You might want to take a gander at the uh, scoreboard. Mm. Whoa. 
What's with the Geico sign, Billy Jean? They're sponsoring all this. I get it. I quit, but I get it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's hilarious. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. If it's high school football, it's on FSN. The only place for in-depth, comprehensive coverage from across the state. Craig Ray and Rick Renner team up to bring you high school scoreboard live. Friday at midnight on FSN Southwest. Kids, do you know about the McDonald's Cub Club? If you're 8th grade or under, join the Cub Club for free items from McDonald's, a special rate for Baylor tickets, a t-shirt, monthly newsletters, and lots more. Sign up today at Floyd Casey Stadium or call 710-8002 for more information. The McDonald's Cub Club. Thanks to McDonald's, First National Bank, McGregor Salfosky, the Waco Tribune Herald, and Baylor Athletics. This week's Time Warner Cable Call of the Week comes as the Bears start the second half with a big play. Griffith flushed out of the pocket, rolls to the right side, throws on the run to Thomas Wright. He's got it at the 10. He keeps his feet. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Thomas Wright. Well, I'm going to tell you, that is a fantastic pass by Robert Griffith. That's the Time Warner Cable Call of the Week. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Welcome back on Inside Baylor Sports. If you've been with us through the fall, and we certainly hope you have, you know we've been counting down the top 10 games over the past decade of Inside Baylor Sports. This week, we reach number one. And for that, we go back to October 30th, 2004, right here at Floyd Casey Stadium. It was Baylor, Texas A&M in an overtime football thriller. Floyd Casey Stadium is energized as Baylor looks to end an 18-year drought in the Battle of the Brazos. The Bears trail 13-3 at the half, but early in the third quarter, Kari Long blocks a punt to turn around BU's fortunes. After a field goal, Braylon Davis intercepts a pass that leads to a touchdown as Baylor scores 10 points in less than four minutes to even the score at 13. Bell looking to throw. Lobs it left side. It is caught by Marcus Roberts. Touchdown, Bears! Sophomore quarterback Sean Bell shines in his third career start, playing in relief of injured starter Dane King, connecting with fellow sophomore Dominique Ziegler to tie the game at 20 with less than six minutes to play. Down the sideline, he's gonna score! That's a touchdown! But the Aggies answer quickly and regain the lead with 4.54 to play to go back in front 27-20. With time winding down, Baylor faces fourth down and three, and Ziegler comes up clutch, grabbing one of his 12 catches for 121 yards and setting up the game-tying score. John Bell takes the snap, runs forward, pass caught by Trent Shelton. Touchdown, Bears! The 101st Battle of the Brasses becomes the first overtime game between Baylor and A&M. The 16th-ranked Aggies get the ball first and quickly score to take a 34-27 advantage. But that doesn't last long as Bell throws his fourth touchdown pass of the night. Rolls right, throws for the end zone, caught by Ziegler, touchdown! Wow! With the score 34-33, the Bears play for the win and attempt a two-point conversion. 34-33, A&M in overtime, Bears going for two. Three receivers left, two right. Sean Bell has the snap, looking, looking. No! onto the field, Sean Bell hits Dominique Ziegler, and the Bears win over A&M 35-34 in overtime. Woo! Sean, that is perfect. Oh, they're headed for the south goal post. Believe me, it is coming down, baby. It is coming down. Down come the goal post at the south end of the stadium. It's the best best one I've ever had. You know, I've, I've had some great years of you know college football and high school football, and I can't you know I can't describe it. All the fans come from everywhere, and I look back and I see the goalposts getting taken away. It's a great feeling. It's hard to explain. Oh baby, they have knocked 
jumped off the edge. I feel we grew up then. Uh, I mean, if, if we would have got it, if we didn't, I mean, it was no no regrets at all. We wanted Coach to do it to, to show we are a team. And we just wanted to, you know, put it all on one play, and we made the play, and, and we're celebrating about it now. What a great memory that was, Laurie, back in October of 2004. The radio call was not the best of all time, <laughs> but I think the folks got the message of the two-point conversion for the win in overtime. Oh, yeah, I understood exactly what you meant when <laughs> you, you know went, what ah! we were saying, exactly. <laughs> hey, and stay tuned. Coming up uh, in a bit on Inside Baylor Sports, we'll count down the top ten teams over the past decade of our show. And coming up on next week's show, we really get the ball rolling with men's and women's basketball. Plus, we'll sit down and talk with Baylor offensive tackle Jason Smith. All that and more next week on Inside Baylor sports. Snap back to Griffin, fakes the handoff, has time in the pocket, down the left sideline for Kendall Wright, he's got it! Touchdown Bears! This is third and nine, Griffin flushed out of the pocket, rolls to the right side, throws on the run to Thomas Wright, he's got it at the 10, he keeps his feet, he's into the end zone, touchdown Thomas Wright! Starts the option right side, Griffin pitches late, Kobe Jones to the five, he is in! Touchdown Jacoby Jones! Inside Baylor Sports has been brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Drink slow, play hard. Doctor's orders, Dr. Pepper. By Time Warner Cable, the power of you. By Hillcrest Health System, the official health care provider of Baylor Athletics. By Farm Bureau Insurance Companies, proudly supporting the Baylor Bears. By Dodge, grab life. And by the Baylor Alumni Association, keeping Baylor strong since 1859. It's a weekly rewind of the Big 12's biggest play. Inside the 10, touchdown. Fox Sports Southwest makes sure every highlight in the Big 12 gets queued back up and played on the Big 12 Instant Replay every Monday night on Fox Sports Southwest. Hang in there, let's go. The Texas Longhorns are college football's national champion. Longhorn Sports Center with Mac Brown is brought to you by Bud Light. Endless refreshment from start to finish. Bud Light keeps it coming. Lowe's, the official home improvement retailer of Texas athletics. Dodge. Bigger in Texas, better in a Dodge. Grab life at your Texas Dodge dealer today. Pizza Hut, an official corporate sponsor of Texas athletics. Order online. PizzaHut.com. State Farm for discounts up to 40% for you and your young driver. Call a Texas State Farm agent today. Long Horns Limited, the official team store of Texas Athletics. Shop where the horns play. Great Southern Wood, makers of Yellow Wood, brand pressure treated pine. For building outdoors, yellow's your color. Longhorn Sports Center with Mac Brown starts now, and we appreciate you joining us on this day as the horns will travel up and match up with the Kansas Jayhawks. Indeed, we'll have all that action for you. But we also have a senior salute, as well as a guest speaker who came in who's very close to the horns. And also, Dale's children came here to visit the horns. And we'll have highlights and explosive plays from that game. One guy that we know created some of those explosive highlights and plays back in 2004, wide receiver Tony Jeffries. TJ, what's been going on, man? How you been? Been great. Thanks for having me, first and foremost. Uh, been to hanging around these horns all year long, actually going into my third year uh, as a quality control uh, personnel here and uh, looking forward to going back to Kansas. Well I know you are looking forward to going back to Kansas and what Horn fan can forget back in 2004 you catching that game winning touchdown pass in the back of the end zone from, from Vince Young. Tell us what that memory means to you now. Uh, it, it means a great deal. Uh, you, you think about what it led to after after that Kansas game. You know, first Rose Bowl, first appearance, you know, playing uh, Michigan, you know, in the Rose Bowl, first BCS here at Texas. So when you look back on it, you know, this is, you know, a great week. They've been playing it on TV and uh, getting a lot of phone calls. So it really, it really makes you uh, really appreciate, one, the guys that you played with at, at that point in time, being able to see those guys, which you don't see on a daily basis anymore. It means a lot. Well, Tony Jeffries created his memories in 2004, this year's horn creating theirs now. Stick around. Longhorn Sportsman with Mac Brown here in just a few seconds. I'm going to grab a light beer. You want one? Nah, beer fills me up. Hang on. Fills you up? Really? Two hours of shoving pizza in your pie hole? 
fills you up. 